Today, on the Rural Project, we'll be taking down some dead standing trees. That is the tree that needs to come down today, or one of the trees coming down today. So when you stand on a tree, it has a natural lean to go straight down um, to the left of those bags of rubbish. I'm going to try and angle it to actually drop it into the middle of the, uh, the mud pile there, into the middle of the turning circle. The dog's tied away, that's why he's barking. So it's going to be interesting. Um, if I do get a long throw over to the right, if I manage to get that, it will hit, hit this tree. But again, that one actually has to come down today too. So yeah, let's get started. But before I get the chainsaw out, I decided to move a few uh, sheets of tin. I managed to slice uh, slice my leg open quite bad on one of the uh, one of the sharp edges. So a little bit of first aid, and then we get the uh, chainsaw out. went really well. 
Couldn't have asked for a better result. Managed to steer it off to the right. Landed in the middle there. Didn't hit anything. And looking at all those termites, I think I can uh, safely say this tree was going to come down pretty soon anyway. Like I say, it, it started dropping branches. All of the ones around here that are dead have started dropping branches. So I think it's a uh, yeah, safe move to have got it down. Okay, so I think the next one where we go at is this one. That should just be a straight drop now into the middle. A big crash. Now that's interesting because when uh, when you when I put that cut in originally, that actually looked pretty level. As you can see now, it actually got a really bad slope backwards. Now it was coming up to halfway, so um, yeah, the fact that it had a slope on it didn't make a huge amount of difference. But when you look at how much holding wood there was, that hinge is, is pretty good all the way across. 
and obviously the uh, the bar wasn't long enough to get to that side and it started to go before I swapped sides but I'd brought it in brought it in here and I was going to start on the other side and uh, yeah I heard it going so I stepped back so that is one big tree Absolutely rotten as anything in the middle. I'm glad I took this down because some of these big limbs actually rotted all the way through to the core look. They would have been dropping off um, in my work area. I don't think I'm going to get much firewood out of this. As you can see there, mud splattered all the way up there, right up onto the tin sheet. You can see it all on the roof, on the board there. But really pleased with where I managed to land these. Exactly the right spot. Now the question is, that one, that one there is a, it's a bit of a nightmare, and I need a bit of time to think that one through a lot more. But I think this one can come down today as well, and uh, and then I'll just be left with that tricky one. And I'm really happy with how they went. Go on there. Uh, Cut this up a little bit, move it out of the way. Bring the excavator in and uh, yeah, move some of the move some of the pieces around so I can still get back in here. And uh, yeah, I'll do that clean up and then I'll do that tree. Only because otherwise I'll end up with so many trees in this area, it'll be really difficult to pick individual trees up and or individual limbs up. I'll be on top of each other with the excavator, so.
So this tree, or this uh, this one fork of the tree that I'm bringing down now, this one actually has a hard lean directly right, basically over the top of where I'm stood right now. What I'm trying to do is bring it so that it falls a bit more into the middle. So I'm putting in my uh, my scarf cut there to direct it more into the middle, and uh, I'll see how much I can actually get it to pull around once I do the back cut. So this one pulled over quite a bit, not as much as I was hoping or I needed, but I was happy with the results. So this one's an even bigger challenge. The lean on this one is to the left and back into the hill towards the camera. And as you'll see a little bit later on, things don't go exactly as planned.
Well, that could have ended badly, so I think I'll just take a moment to reflect and compose myself, and then we'll uh, get back into it. So what uh, what I'd actually done there is I'd cut the hinge, the hinge wood too thin, and uh, basically it just just pulled out. So totally uh, totally my fault. Certainly one to learn, and uh, yeah, unfortunately because you can't really see it on the video, but the ground in front of the tree is so steep I couldn't go in front of the tree, so I ended up having to duck underneath it. So at the end of day one, put that tree down, got that tree down, and, uh, and took this one down, which is actually two, two trunks in one. And as you'll have seen on the video, one went that way, which was ideal. The next one was supposed to go there. It actually went total opposite direction. So I'm going to call it a day for today. I've uh, sliced into my calf with some tin roofing. Had a tree go in the opposite direction to what I wanted it to do. And then down there is the door to the excavator, which fell off because the, uh, the catch is faulty and I was bouncing around in the mud down here and it, uh, it actually fell off. So I think there's an indication there calling it a day and I'll come back, come back tomorrow. We'll pick up, pick up the rest of, uh, rest of this tree and I'll, uh, I'll bring some ropes down and I've cut this one up already. I'll bring some ropes down and I'll, uh, I'll drag this down and stack it. So this is uh, this is the day after. As you can see, that tree came down. That one came down, and those two came down. See, this is the pile of wood. Some really good wood here. Uh, there's a fair bit of it that's absolutely rotten to the core. As you can see that, that piece there. But um, yeah, there's some other wood which is. Yep, it's going to be great. Um, cut this up as firewood, or I might actually that piece there. Depending one spot on the end there, it looks like it's pretty wet. It might be pretty mushy inside, but uh, I might have a go at using the timber mill on that. Get a couple of nice slabs. The nice piece there, which is, which is solid when you look on the end, and then there's one more piece which sort of crashed through those bushes. So. I still have that one to take down, which is going to be interesting because it is two in one. So I might end up dropping that as you look now, dropping it over to the right as it's naturally leaning or back into the hill and not try and push it into the open, just drop it down there. And then the other one is, yeah, is that one there, which has got two big forks in it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's got huge splits in it, huge cracks. So I don't think that one's going to be easy to do. What I may end up doing, is just walk my way through all this slop. What I might end up doing is rigging a, a line to each of those branches. Let's get up here. I might end up doing is rigging a line to the to the branch on the left, the trunk on the left. Get it as high as I can, and maybe bring it across to that tree or to that stump, and then uh, use a pulley system and the excavator to actually pull that down once I've put a bit of a cut in it. What you can see a bit of on this side is is a crack. When you go around this way, that crack is massive. You can see your hand in there. And this thing's got some weird leans on it. And it's also tied up onto that branch too. So this is going to be pretty messy. And I don't want to take that tree down because that's actually alive on the right. The branch on the left is dead. 
so yeah be interesting so I'm thinking as we look here the one on the right I'll put a put a bit of a bit of a cut in but not not a finishing cut just a maybe a large notch and then pull it over to the right with the excavator using a using a rope or a chain and then this one I do not want to be in the way when this one comes down so I'm thinking the same thing I might put a rope up onto that fork there put a notch in in the tree and be hard to decide which way to I guess pulling it pulling it off to the right again even though that's against where it wants to go I just it needs to come down and if I'm not in the way I'm not too worried if it comes down whichever direction it wants to the other option may be to yeah, put a pulley block down to the bottom of that tree oh, that's going to be the next challenge 